severe prime. Yo, let's make a drill beat for Lil Baby. Let's go. For the first melody, we actually jumped into Doom 3 and I went in and grabbed this Romantic String preset. For the effect, real basic, I've literally just got this EQ taking out some lows and highs, dipping a few of the mids. For this beat, we're working in 138 BPM and I'm over in F sharp minor. This is the pattern that we started off with. For the second melody, we jumped straight into expand and I went in and grabbed this tuba preset. For the effects, once again, another EQ taking out some lows and highs, this time boosting some of the mids. And I've got a vintage Valhalla reverb with the mix turned out around 24%. Real basic pattern, but this is what we came up with. And for the final melody, I jumped straight into Nexus. We went in and grabbed this Nexus Grand Piano preset. For the effects, I've got a basic half time. I've got another EQ taking out some lows and highs, raising a few low mids this time. And I've got another vintage Valhalla reverb with the mix turned out to around 30%. This is the pattern that we've got for that one. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. Oh, that sounds lit. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time. We're going to start adding in some drums. So first off, I'm going to go grab a counter snare. <laughs> Sounds nasty. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna start adding in some percussion. So I'm gonna grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just gonna get the bounce going. So yeah, let's see what we can come up with. So we've got a nice little pattern on the go. I've kept it fairly simple. I've got a few different main snares hitting and we've got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and basically just adds even more bounce to your beat. So I'd definitely go and try this out if you haven't already. But yo, this is the pattern that we have so far. <laughs> Oh, that sounds nasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time once again. We're going to get straight into the 808. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, that sounds nice. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to add in a kick and we're going to make the 808 punch a little bit harder. Ooh. 
sounds fire what we're gonna do now i'm just gonna right click the pattern split by channel and we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna rearrange it into a full beat so we've got a nice little bit of structure on the go i'm adding a few different effects out of my kit and what this does is just lets a listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar we've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well this just adds to the tension of the beat and basically it just stops your beat sounding so repetitive as it goes on finally i've added in my tag in there too and i think that pretty much tops it off for this one so i think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen Severe Pride. Nice little breakdown and then straight back in. This one is sounding too sick. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram, at SurveyorProd, to keep updated with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.